God. Sorry I'm late. I was up till all hours. Have you been here long? No, not long. What are you doing down here? I thought you'd be up there cracking away. The shutters are still closed. Oh my, so they are. Well, as the French say, oh, Frank, you spare me. Your body mind first thing in the morning. <coughs> dare we call? A congressman dares anything. Go ahead. <laughs> me? Your voice is more fierce. <laughs> Maybe we should come back later. What? Why, it's positively indecent. God, they're young and they're in love. Not them, Franklin, us. Standing down here, waiting for them to... I mean, what will people think? Don't worry, John, the history books will clean it up. <laughs> that doesn't matter, I won't be in the history books anyway. Only you. Why, Franklin did this, and Franklin did that, and Franklin did some other damn thing. Why, Franklin smoked the ground and outsprang George Washington, fully grown, sitting on his horse, and then Franklin electrified him with his miraculous lightning rod, and the three of them, Franklin, Washington, and the horse, rode off and conducted the entire revolution all by themselves. I like it. <laughs> Oh, John, look at her. Just look at her. I am. She's even more magnificent than I remember. Of course, she didn't see much of the front last night. <laughs> Good morrow, madam. Good morrow. Is it a habit in Philadelphia for men to shout at the ladies from the street? Well, not really. And for men to age, it's not only unseemly, but it's unsightly. Uh, excuse me, madam, but we met last evening. I spoke to no one last evening. Indeed, you did not, but nevertheless, we did present ourselves. This is Mr. John Adams. I am Dr. Benjamin Franklin. Inventor of the stove. Please, I know your name very well, but you say you presented yourself? It's no matter. Your thoughts were well taken elsewhere. Uh, my husband is, is not yet up. Yes, well, sh should we start over? Please, won't you join us? That's certainly. Although one wonder the man could have right. Who could think of independence married to her? I pray you forgive me. It is indeed an honor meeting the two greatest men in America. Certainly the two greatest with an earshot. I am not that I have flattered, Dr. Franklin. My husband admires you both greatly. Well, then we are doubly flattered, for we do admire that which your husband admires. <laughs> Did you sleep well last night? Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Did you die comfortably? Oh, oh. Damn, you know what I mean. Yes, 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 God, you know what you mean. Please, tell us about yourself. You've heard precious little. What's your first name? Martha. Martha. You might have at least told us that. I'm afraid your husband doesn't say very much. I never heard him utter uh, three sentences in a row. Not every night's a talker, John. It's true, you know. Tom is not a talker. <laughs> oh, he never speaks his passions. He never speaks his views. Whereas other men speak volumes. The man I love is mute. In truth, I can't recall being.